pulled swirling gas and dust together and thus, the gas giant was created. About 4 billion years ago, Saturn settled into its current position in the outer solar system. Like Jupiter, Saturn is mostly made of hydrogen and helium, the same two main components that make up the Sun. Saturn is about nine and a half times farther away from the Sun than Earth. At a distance of 9.6 AU away from the Sun and 10.6 AU away from Earth, it is the sixth most distant planet. Light takes approximately one hour and 29 minutes to travel from Saturn and then arrive at Earth. It is the second largest planet in the solar system, having a radius of 58,232 kilometers or 36,183 miles, about nine times that of Earth, and a diameter of 120,536 kilometers or 74,897 miles, almost nine and a half times bigger than the diameter of Earth. The surface area is about 83 times bigger than our planet, and the mass of Saturn is about 95 times greater. Though the volume of Saturn is about 764 times that of Earth, it is the least dense planet in the solar system. Earth is eight times denser than Saturn, and if it would have a surface, the gravity would be similar. The density of Saturn has been estimated to be about 0.687 grams per cubic centimeter, less dense than water due to its gaseous composition. Saturn has the second shortest day in the solar system, completing a rotation quite quickly, in about 10.6 hours. However, its orbit around the Sun is slow, completing one trip around the Sun or a year, in about 29.5 Earth years. Its average orbital speed is about 9.68 kilometers per second, 6.01 miles per second. The elliptical orbit of Saturn is inclined 2.48 degrees relative to the orbital plane of the Earth. The perihelion and aphelion distances are, respectively, 9.195 and 9.957 AU, on average. Due to Saturn's axial tilt of 26.73 degrees, similar to that of Earth, the southern and northern hemispheres are heated differently, causing seasonal temperature variations. Much of these variations in temperature are horizontal. Predominantly composed out of hydrogen and helium, Saturn's density is the lowest out of all the planets in the solar system, having no true surface just like Jupiter, Uranus and Neptune. It does have a dense core in the center, composed out of water, ice and rocky materials, but no actual land mass. The core is believed to be similar to that of Jupiter Rocky, enveloped by a liquid metallic hydrogen layer and a molecular hydrogen layer with traces of various ices. The interior is very hot at the core, 12,000 Kelvin or 11,700 degrees Celsius, and it radiates two and a half times the amount of energy it produces into space than it receives from the Sun. It is estimated that the core's mass is about 9 to 22 times bigger than that of Earth. This would result in a diameter of 25,000 kilometers or 15,534 miles or almost two times the size of Earth. The thick liquid metallic hydrogen layer followed by a liquid layer of helium-saturated molecular hydrogen gradually transitions to a gas with increasing altitude. The outermost layer spans 1,000 kilometers or 621 miles and consists of gas. Covered with clouds that appear as faint stripes, jet streams and storms, Saturn's upper atmosphere is characterized by winds that can reach up to 1,600 feet or 500 meters per second. The atmosphere's pressure is strong enough that it squeezes gas into liquid. The temperature of Saturn's upper atmosphere is on average about minus 175 degrees Celsius or minus 285 degrees Fahrenheit, quite cold for a gas giant. While below the clouds, it gets considerably hotter. The atmosphere is composed of ammonia, ammonia hydrosulfide, and water that influence the planet's colorful appearance of a brownish yellow. The outer atmosphere of Saturn contains 96.3% molecular hydrogen and 3.25% helium by volume. The great white spot of Saturn is comprised of many periodic storms large enough to be seen from Earth through a telescope. They are several kilometers wide and encircle the planet, occurring once roughly every Saturnian year, every 30 Earth years. It is predicted that the Great White Spot will occur again in 2020 during the Northern Hemisphere summer solstice. A persisting hexagonal wave pattern around the North Polar Vortex in the atmosphere at about 78 degrees north was first noted in the Voyager images. 
The sides of the hexagon are each about 13,800 kilometers or 8,600 miles long, which is longer than the diameter of Earth. The entire structure rotates with a period of 10 hours and 39 minutes, which is the same period as that of the planet's eerie radio emissions. This is also assumed to be equal to the period of rotation of Saturn's interior. The Hubble Space Telescope imaging of the South Polar region indicates the presence of a jet stream. However, there's no strong polar vortex nor any hexagonal standing wave. Later, the Cassini spacecraft observed a hurricane-like storm locked to the South Pole, which had a clearly defined eyewall. Eyewall clouds had not been seen on any other planet except for Earth. It's believed that the South Pole storm may have been present for billions of years. This south vortex is comparable to the size of Earth, with winds blowing at speeds of 500 kilometers or 310 miles per hour. Saturn has an intrinsic magnetic field that has a simple, symmetric shape, a magnetic dipole. Its strength at the equator is about 0.2 Gauss, or 20 microteslas, approximately 1 20th of that of the field around Jupiter. It's slightly weaker than Earth's magnetic field. It is believed that Saturn's magnetic field is generated similarly to that of Jupiter, by currents in the liquid metallic hydrogen layer called the metallic hydrogen dynamo. Saturn's moon Titan orbits within the outer part of the magnetosphere and contributes plasma from the ionized particles in Titan's outer atmosphere. The magnetosphere also produces aurorae. Saturn is now the king of the moons in the solar system, having a total of 82 confirmed and diverse satellites that range from a couple of meters to several hundred kilometers. The orbits of these 82 moons have been confirmed as not being embedded in its rings. Only 13 of these satellites have diameters greater than 50 kilometers or 31 miles, as well as dense rings that contain millions of embedded moonlets and innumerable smaller ring particles. Only seven of these moons are large enough to have collapsed into a relaxed ellipsoidal shape, though only one or two, Titan and possibly Rhea, are currently in hydrostatic equilibrium. Momentarily, not all the moons have been named. Out of the 82 moons, only 24 are regular satellites. This means they have prograde orbits not greatly inclined to Saturn's equatorial plane. They include the seven major satellites, four small moons that exist in a Trojan orbit with larger moons, two mutually co-orbital moons, and two that act as shepherd moons of Saturn's F-ring. Two other known regular satellites orbit within the gaps of Saturn's rings, while Hyperion is locked in resonance with Titan, the largest moon of Saturn. The remaining regular moons orbit near the outer edge of the A-ring, within G-ring, and between the major moons Mimas and Enceladus. These regular satellites are usually named after Titans or other figures associated with the mythological Saturn. Out of the 82 moons, the remaining 58 are irregular moons with diameters ranging from 4 to 213 kilometers, or 2.4 to 132 miles. They have orbits much farther from Saturn, high inclinations, and are mixed between prograde and retrograde motions. It is believed that these moons are actually captured minor planets, or debris from the breakup of such bodies after they were captured, creating collisional families. These irregular satellites have been classified by their orbital characteristics into the Inuit, Norse, and Gallic groups, and their names are chosen from the corresponding mythologies. The largest known irregular moon is Phoebe, the ninth moon of Saturn, discovered at the end of the 19th century.